hello you guys welcome to design tuesday and in today's video i'm going to show you how to design this e-flyer with corel draw 2021 and we are going to do this really quick actually i've not done a video like this on this channel where i design a flyer without pictures almost all the flyers in this channel i've done so far are flyers with pictures pictures and blah 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 but now i'm going to show you how to design a simple e-flyer a church flyer without pictures just straight to the point and it's going to be really quick so as it has always been let's jump right in So these are the resources I'll be using for this tutorial, the sky and the dove. And I'm going to send these resources to channel members. So if you want to get free design resources just like this one, ensure to join a channel membership by clicking join below this video and sign up to become a channel member so you get free design resources every Tuesday and every other days I make designs on this channel. I actually send the resources to channel members so become a channel member to enjoy this reward okay let's go straight to the video so i'm going to open up my corel draw and everything is already set but i want to work with a five by five inch since it's going to be a social media flyer design and when you are designing for social media you don't want to use a5 or any other size because you need to use this uh equal size size so it fits to any social media platform you send it to so i'm going to set my unit to inches and ensure that you make it five by five inches and this is how it looks like then you can create your shape using your uh, rectangle tool to create a shape like this and give it five by five inches so once you are done with that you press p on your keyboard to place it on your page just like this and why my shape does not have an outline it's because i've already set my corel draw whenever i create a shape it shouldn't have outline and that is how corel draw 2021 works but with yours if you have an outline on it you can right click here and click on set outline color to take off the outline and it's still okay so next up i'm going to import the two uh sky background i have here into uh corel draw and you can scale it down like this and bring it here then you click on this right click and click on power clip inside and place it on the shape so once you do that the background goes inside the shape and next thing you want to do is to open up your power clip or if you don't want to open up your power clip you press alternate on your keyboard and select the background but if you can't do it this way you can do the other way by going inside the power clip so you click on your shape and click on edit and once you do that your power clip opens you click on your background and open it up like this and that looks fine then you take it up what a little and place it here and this is okay and next thing you want to do is to create this transparency up and down Look, you click on your uh transparency tool and remember black height and white reveal so you press shift and hide this way so you see wherever you have the black it hides and wherever you have the white it reveals this other side so you bring it down this way and convert this to bitmap rgb okay then you press shift again and hide this other way and this looks perfect just as you can see and the next thing i want to do is to increase the darkness of this background and to increase the darkness i have to decrease the gamma of this particular background so you click on effect you click on adjust and you click on gamma and then once you do that you see how it becomes darker then what you have to do is to make sure your gamma value is at 0.42 to have this particular darkness because my gamma value was already set to 0.42 and that's why you have it this way so the more you reduce this the darker it becomes but i'm going to leave mine at 0.42 okay and that is okay then next thing you want to do is to click on finish to finish editing power clip and that is fine and then i'm going to bring in the text I'm, i'll be placing here into corel draw so i'm going to copy this and bring it to corel draw and then paste it here you can choose this card font formatting and that looks fine then i'm going to break this text here and break here as well 
because this is actually going to be my focal point i'm going to work basically on this focal point so you see how i got the effect done and every other stuff then you press ctrl k on your keyboard to break the text apart just like this you can select the two typefaces here which is this and this and give them this font futura i like working with futura because it actually has this sharp cut and it makes the design look modern because futura is actually a modern font so it's very perfect i'm going to choose futura medium for this so you select this and give it futura medium and that looks fine you click on revival and click on text click on change case to title case now the idea I'm sharing with you or the creativity you find on this flyer is not until you do this exact same design. You can pick this idea and apply it to every other of your design project and even do even better than this. So that is the primary purpose of every tutorial I make here. Not for you to copy my designs but to get the idea and do more of this. Okay. So I'm going to change the typeface to Cinzel. I believe I've used this typeface for a long time now ever since i discovered it and it's actually very perfect for my design then i'm going to change this i'm going to use cinzel decorative gold fine now i'm going to leave the link of all the fonts i use on the video description so you can check it out if you've not heard the name i mentioned very well so you can check it out and download the fonts for yourself it actually you can actually find it anywhere on the net and then i'm going to bring this here and enlarge it this way fine you click on this and bring it down here as well june and enlarge it this way then i'm going to cut out june away so press ctrl x and paste then i'm going to create this shape like this and give it red and then fill it with black just like this and give it uh, elliptical fountain fill and click on reverse fill to make the red to be at the center then you add, then you can adjust this this way then you click on June and make it bold and give it white bring it here press control page up to bring it to the top um, perfect press C and E and then once you do that you're actually almost done with this effect you can reduce this and bring it into the design and reduce it this way again and place it here you can still reduce it again and that looks perfect and next thing you want to do is to select revival and then you click on this rgb blue actually don't like using this blue but there is a way to manipulate this blue to give you what you want you click on blue you see it's looking very shiny but you can fill it with rgb black as well once you do that you see a great difference okay that's cool you click on elliptical fountain fill and once you do that the black comes to the center but this time i'm going to click on reverse fill when you reverse fill the blue comes to the center and the black goes to the extreme and then you get what you want you see how the effect looks perfect as it is and that's fine then you can copy this same field to four solemn sunday so you click on revival right click and drag and bring it to where you have the text four solemn sundays or and when you do that you see this uh line or you see your icon changes to a and then you know that you are set to leave and when you leave you see these options you click on copy field here and the field goes inside the text automatically but if you can't do that let me do this again so you understand what i'm actually saying you right click on revival and take it to the text you have here and when you get to the text your icon changes to a like you can see my icon changed to a and you have the little curve arrow then you know you are set to leave then you leave and when you leave you have these options you choose copy view here and when you do that the same field that applies on revival applies on the other text and that's the same thing we are going to do to in the month of so you bring it down again and the icon changes note when your icon changes to this you are not set to leave until when your icon change to this so you have to shift to left and right to your icon changes like this and you leave then you click on copy field here and that is done and you select all and press ctrl g to group and then 
the next thing i'm going to do is to add the perspective effect so you click on object you click on perspective and you click on add perspective and then you now adjust your perspective like this take this here and take this here and then what i want to achieve is that i want to make this look as if the first solution sundays of revival in the month of june is actually coming out of the cloud or going inside the cloud and that is the effect i want this to sit on top of the cloud then i'm going to adjust again just have to do this till it fits what you actually want so all i want to do is to make this other angle smaller and this other angle bigger so i think this is actually okay i'll bring it down here and that's fine press shift on your keyboard and select the shape and press c to centralize and then you see how it looks it actually looks very perfect but then you see that the month in the month of is not too visible so what i'm going to do to make that visible is to add a blood white shape under that so let's see how it goes you click on your rectangle tool and create a rectangle shape like this and give it white color then you click on bitmap and click on convert to bitmap and rgb color no matter the color mode you use here there is no problem about that then you click on uh effect you click on blur and you click on gaussian blur and then this is how it looks you can increase the blur radius increase again and okay then you take it up here click again and rotate it this way and bring it here and press control page down to send it to the back doing so you are able to bring out the contrast here and then in the month of is now visible so you select all and press ctrl g and this looks fine and perfect and the next thing we are going to do is to bring in this other cloud press p on your keyboard to bring it to the design space you press ctrl page up to send it to the top and then you adjust the size like this till it gets to this edge you do the same to this other side till it gets to this edge and this looks perfect then using your transparency tool you hide the top just like this and then you convert to bitmap just like this and also hide the bottom like this and this looks perfect and what we are going to do here is you reduce this you hold it and drag down and take it up a little and this is cool then what i want to achieve is to make this to cover up the revival a little a little so this is how we are going to achieve that you on group click on your four saloon sundays of revival you can select it this way and on group all and when you do that you press control you click on the cloud the cloud at the top and press control page down to send it to the back and fine then what you want to do is to allow revival to be behind this cloud so you press ctrl page up to send the cloud to the top while revival behind and with that you can click and bring this other side down like this and this looks very cool and nice and then you're going to adjust the cloud again so it won't cover the arrow too much and that looks perfect and nice so this is what we want to achieve with this and this looks better then with that you select all with the cloud and press ctrl g and this looks very fine and very nice for solemn sundays of revival in the month of june and then the next thing we are going to do is to bring in the other write-ups for this flyer and i've already done the arrangement of the write-up so i'll simply select all and copy and bring it here and paste then with this you can always use your own design your own write-up and i believe you can always arrange it this way so you reduce this and it fits the design perfectly but then i'm going to click on this and group and bring this down a little to increase the contrast there and then i'm going to click on the 
clouds and hide this other side and take this upwards so it won't affect the the writing here that's fine then i'm going to open up my power clip click on your shape and click on edit and click on this cloud and hide this other side as well so it reveals the type perfectly you close the power clip so this is what we get you can click on this tab and bring it down a little to increase the contrast there so these are all the writers i have for this flyer then i'm going to shift this to this other side a little and that looks fine then you click on your rectangle tool and create another shape like this and give it blue click on your shape tool and make this round like this and then you're going to press shift on your keyboard and reduce this this way and right click before you leave to duplicate now you see we have two shapes it's a very simple way of duplicating the text then you can give this another color but then press shift on your keyboard and select blue and click on trim to trim it out that way you click on the other shape and reduce it a little just like that and then you give it blue as well but then i'm going to fill these two shapes with black so you click on interactive fill tool and fill it with black just like this and you click on this other shape and fill it with black as well so this is what we have got and what you're going to do next is to type in here 9 and i'm going to give this white sorry and click on text click on change case and click on upper case and the font remains futura then you place it here press ctrl k to break the text and click on print and reduce it this way take it closer press shift and press c select the shape and press c as well press ctrl g when you select that and press shift and select the shape and press e and that looks perfect okay so this is actually what we have got you can always take this upwards a little because it's actually looking as if it's actually down so you select all and take it upwards a little first alternate and select the shape or the background below and take it upwards a little as well so this looks very cool and this looks very nice so lastly i'm going to fill this shape with black did i say black with gray okay okay then you click on your shape just like this sorry and you click on 30 percent black and that is gray and you fill it this way with your interactive view tool you fill it with white then you double click on the center of this fill line and give it white and click on this other edge and give it 30% gray then you can adjust the fill like this and adjust it this way and that looks perfect so this is actually that you can always adjust the fill again because the white should be more conspicuous than that of the gray so you adjust again till the gray fades away just like this select all and press ctrl g to do let's see how this design looks like finally so this is actually that but lastly i'm going to add these two doors i'm going to bring in these two doors into the corel drawer and select both and reduce it this way then bring this here then you're going to select this other door and bring it here and reduce it this way and place it here and bring this other way and increase it like this then you can click on this other do click on effect click on adjust and click on do and what i'm going to do is to make this do a little bit whiter than this okay fine you click on this other do and increase it a little 
and that looks perfect you can increase this other dough a little as well sorry and increase it this way and that looks fine and nice okay you select all and press ctrl g to group and let's see how it looks like so this is how the design looks like finally if you learned something new through this video leave a like and leave a comment down below and make sure you share this video because it actually helps us get discovered thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget to join our channel membership to enjoy special perks and rewards for channel members apart from getting design resources there are other special perks and rewards made for only channel members and some of the rewards are having a badge after your name whenever you make a comment or in our videos or in our live chat and you have a channel badge close to your name and then this channel badge is of different rank so you can always rank as a channel member and then you have special emojis to use in comments and apart from that you have a access to a channel members telegram group and also access to get a free design resources and every other stuff and when you become a channel member i will easily review your designs each time you need my attention to review your designs i always do that Thank you very much for watching this video and thank you for sticking around with us and choosing Delight Ends Graphics. I'll see you next time.